Okay, I just downloaded this app on my phone, and it's called something like Spawn. Now, in the reviews, there was a guy who commented saying that you could spawn something called a uh, giant or a giant zombie or something like that. Now, I don't know if that's true or just a myth, so I'm going to try it out now. Right, where's my spawn app? Where's the TNT trash mine? Oh, there we go. Spawn. Now, I'm guessing you got Entity Blaze, Bat, Case Twilight, Chicken, Cow, Creeper, Enderman, Ghast, Giant Zombie, Horse, I... Giant Zombie? This can't be true. It can't be. What was that? Did, did anyone else see that? What the hell? Oh my god. Look at that. Is that. It actually works. Jesus. Oh, I didn't expect that to work, you know. Now, this app gives me power over pleasure. I'm going to spawn hundreds of them. What is up guys, this is Brinko and welcome back to another Mod Spotlight today and as you can see in my hand I do have an iPod now I got this from the local Apple store, it was on offer for 75.27 and uh, I had a coupon to get an extra 50% off so half of that is what, 30 whatever something I got it at cheap, it was a good deal, I thought I'll buy it now but I was too lazy to pull it together so I got someone to do it for me and they left me an instruction manual to do it so I'm gonna go and show you how to craft this all that you need to do is in your inventory actually no I'm just gonna show you how to craft this now as you can see it's on my hotbar there and all that you, all that you need is an item cover an iPod display battery engine electrical wire and now to make the cover you need seven iron ingots and one electrical wire and to make the electrical wire you need one rose red one redstone two string and one lapis lazuli now it is a pretty advanced to make to get the display you need four gold one glass pane and two electrical wire to get the battery you need two electrical wire coal and four iron ingots to get the engine you do need three iron ingots two redstone and one electrical wire and finally to get the electrical wire you know how to do now if you use this in survival mode the durability will go down essentially making the phone or the iPod battery dead so to charge it again you will need a battery which is four iron ingots one coal some battery a battery electrical wire and like that now once you have that you are going to want to put that in the crafting table with the battery and it will fully recharge your iPod. Now we've got all of that crafting malarkey out the way, me and the sheep are going to check this thing out. Now to open it, all that you need to do is have a simple right click, that's left, perhaps not so simple, but you are entered with 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14 different bits of well, three, six, 12 apps and then two other things. So 13 apps, one info. Or 12 apps, one settings, one info. <laughs> you know, you don't know how you look at it. And it makes a little overhead display on your screen of an iPhone. And to close out of it, you either click the power button or the quit button. But we're going to go through these apps one at a time. And the first one is the weather. Now we can set the time to like whatever time you want and then click that. But if we set it to 18,000, which is night, would that work? Yep, you have to click that, and it will set it to night. But now here's presets, day and night. So if we set it to day, it will automatically set it to day. And zero is dawn. So I don't know what it will be. Wow, 54,000. That must be very weird. But we can set it to night again, and the moon's coming up. Now look, we can also toggle the rain. Now it's down full toggled and all that you have to do to turn that off again is click it again and I'm going to go back to day. Now to go back you need to click this again, don't click quit or shut off your iPhone. And next we have, that was the weather, next we have the TNT app. Now this will lag you if you choose so big because you can go really big and I think it never ends so you can have really really big explosions. Now the first coordinates up here are your location so if we move you see it's 391 80 and minus 4 if we move here it will be like 392 80 minus 2 so it sets it on your current location and this is where the explosion will spawn although you can make it go more so if I look this way and go forward 
I can see that this one's going up. So if I go like this and set a little explosion over there, you see it explode over there. Do a little bigger explosion like that. And it will set it on that location. But we're going to do it on ourselves and uh, click explode. And it does send us into the sky. Look at that. So it's like a little move about, oh my days, oh my days. <laughs> That's pretty good. But we're going to set a big explosion, right? We're going to fly back over to here because we can fly. We have an iPod. We can fly. And uh, we're going to make some explosions. Now, better to turn fire off so you get less lag. We're going to set it on our spawn point and we're going to explode. But this one goes up by 1, this one goes up by 10, and this one goes up by 50. So we're going to make a 51, or actually a 50 power explosion on our location with no fire. And as you can see, it is a pretty big hole. And if we had fire, that would lag considerably, ugh, considerably more. So we're going to make a bigger explosion. We don't really want it to go so big, because it will mess up. Like so. Let's TNT. Let's go. This is going to lag. It's going to crash my game. I know it is. Oh, my days. I left fire on as well. How deadly of me. Look how big that explosion is. But if you want to see something cool, exit out of the game. And go back into your world. And look, everything you've done has gone. So the explosion, the big hole, the fire has disappeared. So it doesn't ruin your world completely. It will just reset your world, which is really good. It wouldn't reset like the buildings that are currently there, but it just resets the explosions and the effects of the iPod, which to me is really good. Now, I need to get something. I need to get a piston here, a TNT there, and say like a redstone daylight center there. So what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's set slots 7, 8, and 9 in our crafting table. So in our hotbar. Next, we have the app named trash now you can drop your iPod which is very counterproductive and I don't know why but you still have the iPod on we can clear all of our items in our inventory which we don't want to do and we can also clear slots at a time so it goes up to slot not well apparently it goes up to slot 15 but we're gonna clear slot 9 which is how embarrassing <laughs> that did crash my game and I suppose that it's because it's a fairly new mod so it is still a bit buggy, but we're going to pass on that. Now that's how you do that. We're going to go to the mine option now, which is really cool. So our Z, X and Y axis is, our Z is a cross, I think. Our Y is down and up and our X is a cross. I'm not too sure. I'm not the best. But we're going to, we're going to mine us, we're going to mine Y down. So let's mine a few down. And I think the more times you click it, the more it will mine down. Or no, you just have to click keep mining, and it's mining down. As you can see here, look. And once you get so low, you can click on your mining app and click place light. And it will place a reliable light source for you. I don't know why it's made one there as well. But we're going to dig in this direction as well. I think that's this direction. Is it? What's going on? Where am I going? Oh yeah, it's making it in this direction. Which is a nice little tunnel system we've got going on here. So let's... Let's click a few all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Where are we going? Where are we are now? Oh, my days. We've just disappeared. And it's kind of gone up. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, let's go into here. Let's place a light. Let's place a famous light. Mine, place light. And it's light the area up now. So it's very helpful. And it does do a big area. I think it's a 3x3. Three three. But we're going to mine back up. So we're going to mine up now. Let's see if we can get to the top. Hello? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Are we going to come out the top anytime soon? Oh look, oh look, we're slowly making a staircase. That's pretty cool if you ask me. But let's let's mine all the way up. How many more clicks do you reckon it will take to get up to the top? Oh look, we're up, we're up. Oh, but and we're going to place a light up here. And it has made us a lovely staircase all the way down. Now that's a pretty awesome staircase if you ask me. You can't get better staircases than that from Dunnell Mill. Even though they sell beds and stuff. But the next option is going to be the spawn option, and we can choose to spawn stuff far over there. And as you can see, it's spawning it over there. Let's spawn it a bit further away. Spawn it over the back. And we can choose what we want to spawn. So, say we want to spawn a... <laughs> it didn't want to spawn a bat, but you can spawn all these different things. And I'm not going to risk it again, but it did crash again. So, we're going to go over to our menu now. 
and we can open our crafting table in this menu. We can also open an enchantment table and we can also open an anvil. And in this menu we can also click escape which I don't know why you would want to do and you can quit the game and open it to LAN. Now we're going to try this, we're going to see if you can get a level 30 enchantment from this enchantment table. Oh. It's still a bit buggy. So this mod is still under development though so I'm not going to be doing an enchantment yet. But it's still really good and uh, I don't want to crash again. Oh, that, that's good. This one is the teleport one, and we do teleport to the coordinates we want to go to. So, if say we're where are we? Let's go up here and let's teleport into the distance. And I'm talking very far. So TP. Let's go all the way over to a few thousand TP. Let's go up into the sky a bit, and we should spawn somewhere. Where are we spawning? Um, what's happening? Is that up? Am I... I'm not too sure. The world hasn't spawned in yet. So we're going to go back to where we was. <laughs> where was we? About 400. TP. Please TP there. Please TP there. I need to go down a few levels as well. TP. Where are we? I'm lost. I think we're going to have to exit out of this and uh, go back in it. Does that work? Oh, where are we now? We're, we're falling. Okay, the world has spawned. Oh, there we go. We spawned right on our pigs. Look at that. <laughs> that was an interesting TP adventure. Next, we're going to go to magic. Now, we have all these potions we can have, and I'm going to choose, uh, uh, speed. Now, we can choose the level of speed you want it to go to, minus one, all the way up to whatever. Now, I don't know if I can actually go this far, but I'm going to make a speed at level 30 that will last a minute. Apply. And if you look, we have a level 30 speed that lasts a minute, and this is insanely quick. I've never been this fast in Minecraft. Oh, my days, we're going to make this faster. Magic. Uh, what was that? I'm going to make it level 100. So let's click... Oh, hold on. I need to get my hand on the mice. Mouse. And it needs to be clicking vigorously. Like... Oh, my days. Can you hear that? What about that? Can you hear that? Oh, I'm clicking fast. I'm trying to click fast, but it's just very awkward. Oh, my days. Can you... Oh, my days. I'm sorry. If you can hear this, we're nearly at 100. There we go. We're at 100. And we're going to have this on forever. Apply. Don't crash. And we, we have... Uh, 27 minutes. Oh my days, look at this. This is amazing. I nearly crashed. Actually, I've got an idea. We've got speed on. Let's put jump boost on as well. No, we're not TPing. Magic, where's jump boost? Is jump boost here? Yeah, we are. Look at this. We're going to have level 100 jump boost as well. This is going to be very quick. I'm clicking very fast now. Look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But this mod, guys, is very insane. Yeah, this will be a good little cheat on survival mode. If you like to cheat your survival, you know what it is. But, um, this is very fun, if you ask me. We're going to have a level 100 jump boost as well, which will last forever. And we're also going to sell it today. And, uh, we... Oh, my days. We shouldn't have put that on. Because now, we're going to be in the sky for ages. Oh, my days. Oh, look how quick I'm running as well. Oh, he's going to launch off the ground. Oh, my days. Boom. This is crazy. Now, let's turn that off. Magic. Clear. Now, we're just going to fall to the earth and not die. Boom. But now, we, yeah, we, we're, back. we're back to normal. Next, we have games. And to play these games, you do need golden nuggets. So, let's get a stack or two of golden nuggets. And uh, open it up. Click your game. And we have two games to play. A code guessing game and a gambling game. Now, I'm guessing this is just so you guess a code. And uh, you win, but it's, there's millions and billions of combinations you can choose from. So it's randomly generated, and I'm not just going to sit here and guess every single code in the English language. Wait, that makes no sense. What is that? Is that a pig sheep? Or is it just a pig near a sheep? That angle, though. Look at that. But <laughs> I'm not going to play that code game. But each one of these does take a golden nugget, and it needs to get 
I'm not too sure how it is judged. But I don't know if it's all straight numbers or incline numbers, decline numbers. Oh, I've got a gold bar. So we're going to use both of these stacks and see what we can get. We've got two gold bars. So let's go slower this one. So, oh yeah, look here. We've got three nines. That gave us a gold bar. Uh, what else are we getting? See if we get anything else. Anything? Anything? Oh, I don't think that's it. I think that's it. Right, we've got 543 yet, so it does go in decline and incline as well. Which is very good, if you ask me. One more, no. So, out of two stacks, 128 gold nuggets. We got four iron ingot, four gold ingots, which is very much ripped us off. So, we lost a lot of money. Next, we have stats, and this just tells us the time of day. The, um, the last time since death and the position we're at. And you can refresh it just to see. Next we have life. We can set our spawn to here, which is very buggy, so I'm not going to click that button. We can heal ourselves, we can kill ourselves, and we can set our experience level to whatever one we want. I'm not going to mess about. And then we have three more things. Next we have settings. You can have a code. If you click it on, well, I'm going to do one, one, two, five, eight. And if I drop, if I get in my phone, I have to do one, two, five, eight. So then. I'm in. Wait, one, two, three, four. One, two, five, eight. Um, shit. Am I in? I've I forgot my code. I have forgot my code. Phone. Please let me get in. Oh my days. Um, does restarting it help? Because I have forgot my code. Um, I just saw myself put it in. Is it one two five eight? Oh, I might one two five eight. No, it's not. One one two five seven. One two. One two two eight. One five five eight. One, two, five, nine. I've forgot my code. Well, that's embarrassing. And the only other two apps that were in there um, were <laughs> the music app. So you can play the games of music discs, if that makes sense. Music. You can play. It has a, a GUI with all of these, and you just click what one you want to play, and you can stop it. And also. There was an info one which tells you about the mod, tells you the creator and tells you all the stuff you need to know about it like the recipes and stuff. But that's all for today guys, link is in the description to check this mod out. Apologise for all the crashes but gotta get this video out raw for you guys and uh, love you all. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't seen any of my videos before please give me a subscribe if you want to join Team Brinko today. And as always guys give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, as always, again, have a nice day. Goodbye. Wow. Wow. That voice at the...